Welcome back to Space Engineers, folks. We are back at base. We have brought our rover all the way back on the ice. And I think we're going to turn the rover into a kind of a mining mobile of some kind. Some kind with a lot of storage space. And then we will, I think we'll dig down from one of the legs down to the lake and try and get a connector out here so that we can connect up with the with the mining mobile and just uh, get a ton of ice transferred to the base and and processed by all these h2o2 uh, generators that does mean that we need some uh, h2 tanks which we'll be building up here but we are basically out of iron and we are basically out of well we are out of iron plates and we are out of metal grids. So right now our wonderful uh, build and repair thing really can't do anything. So we are going to go to our assembler and tell it to make, let's say, 5,000 uh, metal grids. Actually, let's do 8,000. And we are going to tell it to make 20,000, actually 50,000 uh, steel plates as well. Because we're going to need them. Because we want to make, uh, we want to make a, a ship that can fly us into space. I guess well first of all I really want to fight someone some something on the planet first so we're going to be making a bit of a bigger more badass uh, fighting ship it's gonna be small block but it's gonna have the automated turrets and so on so that we can concentrate on flying and they can concentrate on shooting but first we need to go mining we need to go mining. So let's jump into our mining ship here. And we are going to go get some iron. So that's the mini base. Yeah, we'll find it. So we have iron over here. We have plenty of cobalt, uh, I think. We have like 30,000 cobalt or something. Maybe more. So I don't think cobalt is a big problem. But iron certainly is. So we are going to come over to our iron mine here. And hopefully not crash. Thank you for stopping. And let's come down here. I think we have a pretty big hole here, right? Yeah. Reasonably. Let's turn on the miners. Actually, let's not. Let's... I'll just take this out a bit. Actually, is that iron? No, it's not. Stone. I don't want that. Dig out the hole a bit. Dig out the hole a bit. And get down to the iron and pick some of that up. Now a full load of iron will get us quite a bit of the way, I think, because we can carry a lot on this thing now that we figured out, thanks to the comment, that the reason it wouldn't stay up was that I didn't have power. It wasn't because it couldn't carry it, it was because I didn't have power. But we have some iron here, right? 
A little bit, anyway. I don't think it's that much iron that's left here, to be honest. Um, let's turn on the lights so we can see what we're doing. Now, where the heck is all the iron? I think it's down here. Let's go into first person and have a look. See, there's iron. We'll just mine out this way a bit. And start moving in here. Picking up that magnificent iron. Come on. And hopefully not destroy half the ship by banging into stuff. Mm -hmm. Though I might. I have been known to do that. On occasion. Mm, let's see. More iron here. I know this is not, maybe not the most exciting, but it needs to be done so that we can progress. Mm. Let's see what we have. We have a little bit of iron. Not a whole lot, though. I think we've been picking up more stone than iron. <laughs> but we are chugging that out as we get it. So just give me the iron, please. We're gonna go for a full load. If there's enough iron here to go for a full load, it seems a little bit scarce at the moment, to be honest. But we do have other iron spots uh, marked out. Let's see, there's more iron there for sure. And here on the side. Right. So, get all the iron that we can, bring it back to base so that the build and repair system can do its job. And get the base built. And then we will start working on a bit of a bigger fighter, more well-armed, and hopefully able to take a few hits. That would be nice. Because the... Uh, <laughs> The little fighter that, yeah, basically got one-shotted, more or less, I'd say. Right. Let's see what we got. 27,000, 91,000, 45,000, 22,000, 9,000. Well, we are getting iron. We are getting iron. And spitting out stone. Well, that's good. And we could keep the stone, but it's just... It's not very efficient with the stone. So 
there's quite a lot of iron here, so that's good. And I think we might need to go get some nickel uh, soon as well. And if so, we'll do that. Let's see. Basically not spitting out the stone fast enough. Let's back up. And let it spit out some stone. We'll turn off the, uh, the drills for now. Can we go back further? No. Now, if I just jump out here. Whoa. And okay, we need to turn a bit. Now up here, we do have some iron here as well. And all the way along this wall. So, can we... Nope. Didn't I turn those off? coming out now yep just go up a bit let it empty out and see uh, how our ship is doing and then we'll come back looks like everything is still functional nothing damaged or anything so that's good and it's done spitting out stuff. So what do we have? We have 27,000, 91,000, 91,000, 90,000. Let's fill that up. So the drills can still carry some. And the connector, I guess, as well. And since we have the power needed now, uh, where's the iron that we saw there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, 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 don't tip over. Damn it. Wow. This is bad. This is bad. This is really, really bad. We are basically upside down, and I don't think there's much I can do about it. Ah. Uh, Correcting it slowly, but crap. Let's see. Okay, get out of here. That's better. That was bad. Let's just check. Anything damaged? It doesn't look like it. Batteries are still functional and everything. Good. All right, let's try this again. Where's the hole? Who is there? So let's level out and just come down, nice and easy. That wasn't as nice as easy and easy as I had intended. Let's get this going. Let's get a bit more and call it a day. Really want to fill up as much as I can without making us too heavy to fly. I think we'll go up to around 400,000 kilos. We're at 368 now. Let's just drop off some of the stone that we got. We did. And we have no stone in us. We got a tad more iron. Let's, let's go home with this before we overextend. 
Where's home base? Home base is over there. Right? It looks like we've lost a spotlight. That's going to need to be fixed. That's about it, I think. And we're not losing altitude when stopping right now, so that is very, very nice. Let's see, where's the base? It's over there. Come forward a little bit and down a little bit. Um, that's around. Straighten up like that. And level out. And come down. Whoa, that's not down, that's back. Come down. Just a tad. I hope. Go on, stop, stop, stop. We're going down too fast. Alright, it's stopping. Good. Come over to the other connector here. And down a bit more. Not too fast. Because too fast going down is dangerous. Alright. Let's see. About time to start lining up a bit. And I do need to put that reversing camera on. I forgot to do that. And it would be really useful. It's going down way more. Probably not that much, but we'll see. Actually, that's not half bad. Need to come down a little bit more. Like that, I think. A little bit more. A little bit more. How close are we, I wonder? There we are. It's unlocked. Let's just jump out and see how we're lining up. Okay, we need to just adjust our angle a little bit. And down. There we go. All right, I think we did lose a spotlight, right? Yeah, we did. Need another spotlight. New spotlight, please. That is nice to be able to see. So let's do G spot a small and there and grab everything. And G spot and take the wheels off. That we won't be using wheels much, I think. At least not on this planet. And we'll stick the spotlight there. Wait, how is the other one lined up? It's got the lines horizontally. Oh whoops. Not like that. Not like that, like that. All right. Now, we just need to fix up this group. And I, control panel, spot. So, you need to be off. You need to have a high intensity. And the radius is fine. Should be set up 
the same way as the other one now. Yes. So there. Uh, lights. Um, actually, let's just see. Lights. Yeah, it's just called lights. Let's delete that group. And call it uh, light. We'll do minor lights. Save. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. Lights. Uh, groups. Minor thrusters, minor lights. There. Toggle block on off. I forget what I had there. We'll just do that. We'll put the reversing camera there. Which I'm going to stick on right now before I forget. So, G. Camera. And we'll stick that instead of the spotlight and stick one there. Grab all the stuffs. And we'll stick a reversing camera on here. Can we stick it on the top of the battery? We can actually. Stick it there. All right. That should help with docking. So then we can say G. We want uh, uh, I control panel camera. I want this one. We'll call it uh, minor docking camera. All right, then we can say G, camera, let's search for a minor, minor docking camera. There we go, uh, view. All right, so now we can do four and we can see what we're doing when we're parking. Very nice, nice. All right, let's get out. Okay, so, this is working again, I guess, right? Yeah, it is. Something is being welded up. That's pretty good. Let's see, how are we doing? Did we finish all that stuff? I doubt it, but uh, production. We're, we're doing the plates now. So let's have a look at our inventory and say uh, metal grids. We only have a few left. That is just so crazy. All right, we need to make more metal grids. So production. Let's make 20,000 more. And let's just take a look at our inventory and say uh, cobalt. So there's 8,000 cobalt there in a container. This assembler has basically no cobalt. This assembler has 20,000 cobalt. This refinery has 18.6 okay, cobalt. So let's stick that up there. This one has 17.4k cobalt. So yeah, we, we have cobalt, I think. I think we have the cobalt that we need. We do have some iron as well, around 100,000, 130,000, something like that. So we should be set for that for a little while at least. A little while, probably not for long though. Because we've only... Actually, we don't have enough. We do not have enough. Ah, we do. 
We'll take 104,000. We have quite a bit. We have 20,000 more or something. So we, we are going to need to do another uh, iron mining run. Let's have a look at our nickel. Uh, so uh, NI. There's 10,000 there. 30,000. 40. Well, 10,000, 40,000, 50,000, 50,000 nickel. So we do have enough to produce this, but we could probably do with some more. We could probably do with some more. So iron and nickel are what we need. But first I actually want to look at, so we have detector components here. Uh, we do need some of those, I think, but that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for roster components. Man, they cost gold and platinum, which we don't have. We do not have access to that. So. If we take a look at, we're upside down. E, uh, thrusters, we don't want ion, we want hydrogen thrusters. They take steel tubes, metal grids, construction components and steel plates. So we don't need thruster components for these. We need thruster components for these. All right. All right. So let's do uh, hydro tank. Oops. Up there, we want it on this floor because we are going to store up a ton of hydrogen here. So these can be right up against a wall, as you can be there, and We can be here, I guess. Is that directly opposite each other? No, it's not. It's two in, so it's there, right? Now they're directly opposite each other. And I think we'll build quite a few of these tanks. And I suppose there's no reason not to have them right up against each other, because that should connect them. So we'll build one there. We'll build one there. And we'll build one there. And there. All right, so that's six hydrogen tanks that we're build building. I'm pretty happy with that. And the build and repair system is building them for us, which is really nice. I suppose we could have put these right up against each other as well, but it doesn't really matter. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Now, one thing I do realize is that we don't have stairs or anything like that in this uh, structure, which we do want. So we are going to have to put that in there as well. And also we want windows and stuff like that, right? So, but for now, if we, what's the next thing to do? I think we hook up the hydrogen H2O2 generators to the hydrogen tanks. And we hook up the last of these containers. And 
then we convert this thing into a ice miner and we could do that well we're running out of hydrogen well we are not it's not that bad but we were kind of uh, let's see inventory Fill up please ah. uh, go to there um, there and we can cargo and stick this scrap metal in somewhere get processed right we need a little bit here we need some on the leg which should be inside the uh, the what's it called the the grid we're building up here okay so this floor is basically done and what are we missing for this small steel tubes and large steel tubes and i think that's because we don't have any i am fairly certain so let's see small you only want this ship nope nothing and large well we can uh, it's actually easier to just search for two no we don't have any so production we'll do let's do 500 actually let's do a thousand and do a couple of thousand of those and we'll prioritize them over the cobalt because we want these done so that's going to take 3000 iron that's going to take a thousand iron that's going to take a lot of nickel and cobalt and iron but we don't have enough iron we don't have enough iron we're going to have to do another iron trip but i really want to hmm let's see how much silicon do we have uh, si the ship only we have thirty-two thousand there nothing there really nothing there really nothing there really Nothing there, and so we have around fifty thousand. Let's just say, let's just say fifty thousand. That means that we can probably make some bulletproof glass. Uh, let's see, G. Bullet. Why can't I see bulletproof glass? Uh, glass. Interior passage, but plus glass door. Okay. Uh, window blocks. So we want the largest window blocks that we can get. Three by three. that the biggest one I think it is yep so three by three that takes 196 bulletproof glass and 40 girders okay let's see girder we have 212 plus 2000 so we have some of those just clean up the inventory a little bit here. 
have some of these computers we don't have anywhere else we might need to make some of those as well oh there's more bulletproof glass there uh, ammo nothing in here we might need to make some more ammo as well let's just make this container only for foodstuffs so we can ooh. All of this down here. Our tomatoes, the gray waste we can put together. Coffee, organic. Okay. Potatoes, we don't have any of those. Fertilizer. Uh, carrots. Emergency rations. Carrots. Animal meat, cucumbers, more cucumbers, seeds, tofu, not gonna eat that, saberoid meat, and some eggs, and that's about it. I think actually think that uh, this potassium ingots is for that stuff as well. Great waste. We uh, we have food, we have water, so that's all fine. All right. So let's grab bulletproof glass. Not that much, man. Uh, we can get rid of these. And we want some girders as well. Actually, we just need the bulletproof glass, I think. Because the build and repair system is going to build it for us. We're just going to put it in there and tell it where it should be. So let's do G. Windows 3 by 3. That there. And let's see, if we turn it around, well, I, I want it this way. Ah, we need girders, okay. Not the bulletproof glass. Oh, not close enough. All right, fair enough. We'll pick up girders instead. That there, that there, that there, that there, okay, they're being built, and we fit one on top, no, we need a three by two. Do we have that? Two by one. It doesn't look like we have three by two, does it? Oh yeah. Window two by three flat. Stick that there. And I think I want one by one flat as well. All right. Okay, so we're getting windows. Cool. Now, this needs to go here. Can it? Yes, it can. I want it. Like that, though, but I want... Can it go there? It can. Okay. And here. And come in there. All right. How 
is this looking? Uh, not G. That looks looking pretty good. I want a railing here of some kind, like a half block. So this is going to be a um, balcony right here, this little bit. Well, uh, like that. That means you're wrong. Seven. That. And we'll uh, put it here then. We'll figure out what to do with this. Actually, that looks stupid. We'll put it here. There. And then we'll put the three by twos here. All right. So we're building up the base. Oh, I don't really know how I want to make the door here. I'm not sure about that, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But things are getting built, and that is the most important thing. And we're going to continue in the next episode, guys, but I think we'll continue by starting turning the rover into an ice miner. Let's just see. Did these things get built yet? Not yet. Uh, where am I going? I want to stick the girders in here. Yeah, I think the best plan is to start turning that thing into an ice miner so that we can mine a ton of ice and get into here somehow. Maybe with a cargo ship of some sort, we could use the um, the, the miner or the welder as a cargo ship to bring it up and hook it on here. Or we could dig down and out so that we it, this thing can just hook up and everything gets transferred. But we'll see. I think we'll put some... Uh, Maybe instead of the turrets, we'll put some um, what are they called? Wind turbines on there so that it gets power in that way. But we'll see. We're nowhere done yet. So uh, nowhere near done yet was what I was trying to say. But we'll figure it out eventually. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.